Hey guys, I'm Louise and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be telling you guys why I haven't been posting for about a month. And then we're going to be looking at all my prop boxes and other propagations that I have that I haven't actually looked at for at least a month, I believe. And just giving you a few updates on a few plants. So yeah, let's get into it. So to start this all off, I do want to apologise. I know it's been like a month and for those of you who are still watching, thank you for sticking by me. Um, yeah, I've just basically started a new job and I have been super busy every single week and I haven't been able to find time just to manage doing videos for you guys and, you know, doing other things. So now um, it's kind of all settled, I can now start making videos again and it's just going to be posting um, whenever I can. Hopefully um, weekends I'm probably going to be posting Saturday and Sunday every week, maybe during the weekday but we'll just see what happens. Um, time management is actually getting really really good now. So yeah let's just get started into my prop boxes first. So all my prop boxes have basically been on my windowsill for god knows how long, like about a month. I popped these on there because I need a space on my desk so I just put these two there as well and it's just crazy like you can see I haven't actually opened them at all so yeah let's just have a look at them. So I basically abandoned my prop boxes for a month because I've just been working like constantly every single week. So I basically, I think I opened them once or twice within the month, but I basically haven't opened them at all. So we'll just see what's going on again. So in this one, I have a Skindapsis aragerius. This is like a big leaf one. And then I have a couple of, well, they were, um, I don't know if I can still revive this one. They're variegated string of hearts this one it is dead that one kind of shriveled up so here the sphagnum is quite dry i will be trying to pot up a few um a, a, like most of these propagations because i'm pretty sure like 99 percent or all of them literally need potting up especially ones in the boxes i'm not sure about the ones i have just in glasses of water but we'll have a look so here is a string of hearts it looks to believe that i can pot this one up and i think i put this one up with um the very good string of hearts i have already um i do have something to say about my just a, my regular string of hearts i they kind of died um i don't really know what happened there they just kind of rotted and died i think i might have over watered them or something but like everything else has been doing pretty well so it's not too bad i think i just kind of gave up on them because there was no point and it looks to me that there is a a tiny tiny root as you can see that little white line there so i'm definitely gonna be potting this guy up so let's do that really quickly so here is my variegated string of hearts look how beautiful this little girl has gotten like honestly there was only one like little strand and just look how long and just luscious like the hearts are getting bigger so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna grab this pen that i have here and i'm just gonna make like a little hole i'm just gonna do it on the side here so it's just like a hole like the side right here and then I'm just going to pop this guy right in, as you can see. Pop him right in here. Just get my... I'm just going to kind of... I think I need some more soil, actually. I think I might need to this back. There we go. So we just pop this guy right up in the corner right there. And I'm just going to put this back where I have this little shelf on the windowsill. I'm definitely going to show you guys out because that is really, really cool. So this is the Skindapsis Argyris cutting that I got. I think I got it in a cuttings box like ages ago. And look at that root. That root is massive. And wow, like I do not recommend anybody to leave their um, propagations like airtight in boxes because it's really bad. Like you're supposed to open your box pretty much every single day for like five ten minutes or so just so it gets some airflow in there like obviously i've been really busy so i haven't really been tending to them at all so yeah so this is what we got we've got this so we're putting this up in a little bit i'm pretty sure i have like a load more other cuttings that i need to put up so we're just gonna do like a big load of like 
potting up cuttings in another video so yeah stay tuned for that because i will be making a video just popping up potting up all my propagations so this is the next box this is very exciting i think i put um a lot of tradescanto cuttings in i think these ones weren't doing very well so i moved them i think i have i think i have just the tricolor and the zebrina yes i do so i did put put in a few other cuttings i think i put in a monstera peru i think i put in some lucidia ludicia ludicia no lucidia discolor i think it's a ludicia discolor anyway i basically put in this guy like i had some cuttings i think from a cuttings box ages ago and i put them in here because they weren't doing any any like well in water at all so I potted like cuttings in there and they haven't really done much at all I think I might bin them because they're just rotting away um yeah I'm not really sure what to do with that at the moment so yeah I did have a um Monstera Peru cutting and as you can see it has done absolutely literally squat like it's just dead and I think this one was a this one was a begonia cutting but you know never mind things happen you know so it looks to me that these Tradescantia cuttings have all rooted because I've just looked at the bottom. Can you see all those lines there are roots? They are roots. It's crazy. So I'm just going to quickly just take all these Tradescantias out and let's see what we're dealing with with the roots. So I'm just about to start um, parting all these Tradescantia cuttings and it's just... Because I've left these like cuttings in the box for so long, they have rooted and it's just the whole, this just, mo it's just a slab of moss. Like all this in my hand is just literally a slab of moss and it's crazy because like, look at that, like it's insane. I've never had this happen to me before, ob obviously, because I've never left cuttings in ever so long that they've rooted up so much to the point where it's just a slab of moss and it just will not like um, separate fun it's been about five minutes and i've just managed to get one tradescantia off this big mound honestly this is crazy this is the most amount of success i have had rooting tradescantias and that's not in water that is in sphagnum moss so if you have tradescantias and you really want the, want to know the best way in um rooting them root them in sphagnum moss don't try water i've tried water millions of times and after like you get like that much amount of roots they start to then rot on me so this is the best way make sure to air out the um your prop boxes full of sphagnum and prop, um, propagations um every single day about five minutes because you do not want them to start rotting or anything to go bad or like bugs in because that can happen and i'm kind of scared that i have bugs in a couple of my boxes but so far so good got nothing so yeah, I'm just going to carry on trying to get the rest of these off this mound of sphagnum. So after half an hour of literally picking these massively long roots apart, just look at them. So all these cuttings are like, they've grown quite a bit. Um, I believe they're quite small to start off with. Um, if you look at a previous video that I made quite a while ago, I'll link it down in the description for you guys. These cuttings were really small and look how large they have gotten. Like honestly, the roots are really, really long. They were so tangled. I'm pretty sure I like ripped out quite a few. There's one, oh, there's one little baby that has like a little root. I think I might have ripped this off like another one of these plants. I'm not particularly sure. But yeah, it's just crazy. And oh my gosh, I think I've just tangled them all up again. Oops. But look, look at all these roots. Like, oh my gosh. Like, ah. So half, like, some of these I can't actually, like, take off all the sphagnum. But I took off as much as I can. Just look how long these roots are. And these roots are very, very delicate because they're very thin. So it's just quite difficult to just, you know, just make sure, like, they don't rip apart and i don't lose like big nice long healthy roots but you can like for me i can never get like roots like that by 
put prop in them in water because they just rot on me like honestly especially the zabrinas look at this look how long so i've only got three zabrina cuttings because the others like rotted in water but look at this like look how large these are gotten i think i might make another pot up of these because i love this plant and i do have like a pot that i already have of this so i might make another one maybe we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out yeah we'll figure it out next box is the green box so i can't remember what i put in here i think i have a hoya cutting in here maybe two foyer cuttings right so i have a watermelon peperomia cutting which has done absolutely nothing and i have a hoya hoya bella cutting and down here i have a hoya fungi cutting so let's see how these guys are done yeah you can definitely tell the bottom like there especially those are roots you like honestly i love it when like these plants like like propagations like give you roots because you're just like yes you've done it like honestly like i am loving this so we've got a few tiny roots as you can see the best way you can tell that your propagations in sphagnum have like the best root system is when you lift them up and you just get a big chunk of sphagnum like that attached to them that means that you know we have a root system going on especially this one as well like wow it's crazy so let's just i'm just gonna come back and they're gonna be all sphagnum free so this is the hoya bella cutting we have a new bit of growth right there and we have a short roots kind of small short roots but honestly i'm quite happy with this i've never propagated hoya bella before and my other hoya bell is quite long so i thought i'd just like give it a chop and also i did it for a tiktok video so if you guys haven't checked out um my tiktok account go ahead and do that it'll be linked in the description below and the next cutting which i have done as well is the Hoya fungi cutting. Look at those roots. This cutting has been in the sphagnum for more than a month, I think. I think maybe, or maybe a month. I can't particularly remember because it was a while ago when I potted up some of the Hoya fungi cuttings because I think I had quite a few, but this one didn't rot, uh, root yet, sorry. And as you can see, like, there was actually, like, a little bit. I think I cut this bit off because it couldn't fit into the pot so then i decided to propagate what i have here so that is a hoya fungi eye cutting so last but not least we have the two tiny boxes of the box propagations so let's check these guys out so here's the first box this one has my name on it because i remember buying a i think it was it was just it was just a cutting or something that i bought um it's why the thing has my name on it so yeah so this is what we got in here so we have a begonia cutting we have a um cb blue cutting i have put in my variegated bell mark bell, variegated bell marks cutting um it it did when it came it was just like non-variegated it came from variegated plants it has a bit of variegation on the stem um, I popped that in there because it basically didn't want to root for, or it did root for me. I put it in sphagnum and the sphagnum kept drying out so much, like, I think I lost the roots or something. So, yeah, that's what happened with that one. I have silvery and cuttings in here and I do have a picked and tricolour thing. Oh, yes. And we have the tiniest root ever. I don't even know if you can see that, but, like, right there is a root which is now forming which is like brilliant and you can see the bottom of here as well i don't know if you can see that but look at that root that is crazy so i'm just gonna be like taking out i think the begonia and the i think i'm just gonna take out the begonia cutting and also the sea blue cutting i'll be back in a second so before i start taking off the sphagnum this is just a begonia cutting. I'm not really sure what kind of begonia this is exactly. I can't remember, but 
look at that like the roots are just it's just crazy like honestly this has been there for about a month or so, so i think everything i've had have been about a month like around a month maybe a little bit more than that and it's crazy i've never had a begonia cutting like a begonia wet stick like um roots in sphagnum because i did have some polka dot begonia wet sticks in here i think i have one in the other box the other small box i have and that didn't root at all it just gave me two leaves one leaf stopped growing the other one has grown and yeah like one is one leaf yeah one leaf half grown one leaf is like properly grown and look at this we've got a lovely new leaf and we have a bit of new growth here as you can see right there so yeah i'm just gonna take off the uh sphagnum and we'll see the roots so here is the CB Blue wet stick. Look how much this root has grown. It has been crazy. It's got given me two new leaves. It's one new leaf here. Look how beautiful it is. Like, oh my gosh, I am in love. And we've got a new leaf growing right here. Like, honestly, I'm really chuffed that these leaves are absolutely fine because they have been trapped in this like grown literally against the roof of this tub for a long time so oops and we have the begonia wet stick and look at those roots it is absolutely crazy i am so happy that this begonia decided to root for me and give me a beautiful leaf because I haven't really been having good experiences with begonias as far as my large begonia i separated and the every just the big it just hasn't really been doing that well so i do have two cuttings from it that has literally been growing non-stop and they're doing really well so hopefully that i've put like the separated parts of my large begonia which lost all its leaves apparently like honestly no leaves on it just it just sticks in soil with like some roots so hopefully because i put them underneath my grow lights they might do something so yeah that's a big only cutting the next box is i think this has let's have a look this one has yeah this one has the um begonia cutting it has also got some very close and cuttings it's got monstera dubia and i also have a cream philodendron cream splash as you can see in there that is a really tiny baby um billetai so it's crazy i think if you saw like a couple months ago i got it and it was just a little tiny like that big and it's like a little like it's like a bit of stick with like i think it i didn't think it had a leaf i think it might have had a baby leaf or something but yeah it just honestly yeah it's just it was so tiny so let's have a look at my so my monstera dubia cutting hasn't done anything i've had this for at least three months now and it's just crazy like what am i supposed to do with it like what do i do with it because it's not doing anything like it's been sat it's been in humidity it's just been sat in this box like closed box for two months or so now and it just hasn't done anything so i have a couple of, like very cosome cuttings and this one i think i think it might be dead it's very squishy yeah so this one hasn't done anything it's given me like the tiniest root ever and it's given me like a start of new growth but honestly if you see I don't know if you can see that but it's so squishy i just completely forgot about them so yeah that's that gone we have this one this one hasn't really give these one give me a tiny roots i think i need to chop this bit up so i'm hoping that this will keep so i'm just going to chop very close like literally like where the yellow bit is like and hopefully it will just you know it will keep because i love varicosums i mean i've had them in the past and they died on me so you know i'm just trying my best here so yeah i'm gonna do that quickly so i'm just like chopping where the yellow bit ends as you can see oh that's the dead part as you can see it's fully yellow and now we have this we have a bit of root here we have another bit of root like shooting out just there but nothing else we've had like a shoot and this has been like 
shooting for ages like honestly we've had this little leaf shoot for ages so i'm not really sure what to do with it i'm just gonna keep it out in the open i'm not gonna shut the box so i'm just gonna keep this one out on the windowsill for now until i have seen it has cast over i might put wax on it on the end i'm not really too sure yet what to do so we'll just figure out as we go along so next i'm going to show you is my philodendron cream splash oh my gosh there's a good amount of roots on here so i'm just going to quickly take off like the sphagnum because honestly there's not even that much on it oh so there's a tiny baby roots oh it's so cute okay i'm just being very careful okay so we have like tiny roots i think because like the sphagnum literally like sticks to the roots and they just kind of like all crumple up like it all like meshes together we just don't really get to see like the full there we go so i think i might put this in soil now because it's ready look at that i'm happy with that because we're getting a new leaf now we're getting two new leaves as you can see right there but one new leaf is about to unfurl and one leaf that is literally about to come up like any second oh my gosh it's adorable oh my god like look at that leaf though that leaf is just stunning and i got this for free because i did i i'm on like a rare um and unusual plants um facebook page and um we do like they do like raffles so you basically put in like a pound or up, it's up to five pounds for like a raffle so you can like the max is five pounds minimum is one pound and people donate um cuttings plants what have you non non-plant related items like i don't know gardening gloves or like bunting they've made that's like planty sort of so yeah um it's just pretty cool when i i won this so and i want it unrooted so it's doing really well and i think i've had that in for about a month or so now i think it must be about a couple months now last but not least we have my billy tie cutting and you will see in a second what how and why i didn't think it was going to actually um roots because i just i don't know it's just it just didn't seem like it was going to root so we've got quite a bit of sphagnum on here so hopefully we've got some good roots i'm just gonna quickly just take off the sphagnum where it's just loose oh my gosh we have a good amount of roots and also this is starting to outgrow the box it's in and i think it's ready to go in soil now so i like find a little tiny pot for it but look it was just a little stick look at that just like a little twig and i think it had that leaf there so it did have potential and it has got potential and it still has i cannot wait for this baby to grow into like a big mama plant because then i'll just be taking cuttings every single time it like gives me like a bunch like honestly i cannot wait for that day i know it's gonna take me a while it's gonna take a while but look at that i was so over the moon when this actually gave me roots because i remember because i was literally like i was nearly crying like honestly like i got so emotional because this little baby has done so well so yeah i'm gonna pop this in some soil because i believe it is ready so i have two water propagations that need potting up so i just want to show you guys what i have so i have a monstera peru cutting and this one i did have where the other leaf on the box in one of the prop boxes i did chop it in half and i did see if i can prop it in um moss and i think i did open the box a couple of times and i think it just started to rot anyway but look at this so this one already had an arrow root so it had like a nice like start to it and look at this oh my gosh that is crazy look how long it's gone honestly i saw like like that much honestly just that much like that little bit there when it started 
like I saw that much and then I left it and honestly I haven't filled up the bottle at all I've just left it and it's just done its thing and look at that that is crazy I'm so excited I'm gonna pot it into some um <laughs> into some soil and look it's got tiny new growth right there as you can see so I am so excited I've always wanted a Mon Monstera Peru but like I've never got one so yeah I'm so glad I have the cutting I think this was in a cuttings box a while ago so yeah that is so cute oh my gosh and the second thing that I have propagating water which needs 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 actually does need um potting up which I want to show you guys because oh my gosh it's crazy like it's insane so this is a philodendron painted lady cutting and look at this we have lovely roots we have nice big long root here we've got so many little ones starting up there and we have a new leaf so this is definitely ready for soil so yeah oh my gosh I'm so excited see I kind of want to put this in Lekka um, I'm kind of stuck between soil and lecker, so, you know, I think, I think maybe I will put this in lecker if I have, I think I might pop it in lecker and put it in here because that's be quite nice, yeah, I don't know, anyway, in the next video we'll find out whether I'm going to be putting this in soil or lecker because I still haven't figured out yet, so, yeah, let's do some little planty updates and, yeah, that'll be the end of the video. So here is my snazzy um, suction cup um, little shelf I have on my window. So this is my string of hearts. Then I've got the lavender. I've um, got a little update on the rest of the other plants that I was growing that you uh, saw. Anyway, we've got lavender. We have a string of turtles. We have the replica, the cheap version of the Cebu Blue. And this is my variegated string of pearls. Look how crazy it's going. I did get a big long cutting a while ago um, in the cuttings box. So yeah, we've got we've got quite a lot going on here like there's so much in there now and it's just crazy so yeah that's the little shelf i've got going on here is my philodendron brazil this little guy literally been doing nothing it killed like you can see one half the plant is just dead this half that's been like by the window honestly it's been doing so well look at how much new growth we've got like it's crazy hasn't started training yet it's more like going upwards so we'll just see what happens hopefully it just like kind of droops down but yeah we we're getting somewhere now so since i've been off for about a month like honestly i kind of went a bit crazy and i think i'm gonna be doing something with these succulents so i bought like i bought a load and just look how adorable they are it's crazy they've got some really nice flowers on them as you can see Look at the flowers. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. Anyway, yeah, so these are my succulents. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I literally cut up my Philodendron Ghost and I'm propagating it because it did have the thrips, I think it was, and I just really couldn't bother with it. So I kind of just cut it up and just hope that this doesn't have it. So my fry deck has got three leaves now. Look how adorable look how gorgeous these leaves are like it's incredible i'm not really sure why it's dangling like this but yeah you know look at it oh, wow. so here is a cutting of my red striped maranta that i did ages ago and look at this this is a flower oh my gosh i cannot wait look how big my silver sword has gotten like honestly this is the newest leaf i had to like stick it up by pencil because honestly it's like tipping over and it was really bad so yeah that's what we got at the moment <laughs> just if you don't have anything to stake up your plants just if it's small enough just get a pencil like it works wonders so my stephanie erector is now actually giving me growth and Look at this, my Cretanthe is doing really well. And yeah, this begonia, the it kept drying out, so it basically lost all its leaves. And we have another cream splash here. And look at that little baby leaf, oh my gosh. And here we have my Philodendron White Princess cutting. And I think this should go into 
soil but honestly it's, it's just vibing so I'm just gonna leave it in there it's doing really well so yeah that's basically so my philodendron scomifarum has gained two new leaves since you probably last saw it. We've got some new leaves from my Syngonium mojito. We've got new leaf, look at that, a full half moon leaf on this baby Syngonium albo. We've got a new leaf popping out on the other Syngonium I have, the larger one. And here we have my tattered up Florida ghost, which literally I don't know what's happening to it. My Flind, my F Milano Chrysum, yeah, my Philodendron Milano Chrysum, which gave me a new leaf, did give me a new leaf, and it snapped itself. So I don't have the leaf, we only have two leaves. We did have an old leaf that fell off, and I have a uh, Raphidophora tetrasperma or Monstera mini and this one was a cutting and I put in Lecker and it's doing quite well it's given me two leaves one that's not fenestrated and this one is the newest one which is fenestrated which is amazing I think I'm gonna pop my um, crystallanium into a soil I think I'm gonna pop it into soil I think this is either a new leaf or a flower so yeah we'll figure it out so that's that my australis needs to be taped up again since like um i literally haven't been doing anything for at least a month like no care for my plants apart from watering every single week um it got to a point where it got too heavy because it kept growing loads and it still is growing and it's just starting to fall off so i think i might tape that up again as you can see like the tape on the ceiling it's just where it's gotten too heavy and too long that it's just pulled off because i just haven't been bothered to tape it up my Monstera adansonii is climbing up the wall and look at those leaves like oh my gosh it's giving me some new leaves at the back here as well so I'm so excited about that. We also have my Regator Marenta and look how adorable and beautiful this is getting. Look how many leaves there are now it's crazy we're getting like new leaves left right and centre. She's kind of unstable at the moment so I'm not really sure what's going on. We have lost a bottom leaf but that's an old leaf so it doesn't particularly matter and I've got one more bit of exciting news to tell you and I'm so excited about this so I can't wait to document like the whole thing properly this time. So here we have the flower from my Anthurium. Look at that. Oh my gosh it is so close to popping out and I kind of wait to get some pollen because I am going to be grabbing that pollen as soon as I can. I think I can see there's a bit of pollen on there. I can't get quite close to it at the moment because I'm literally having to climb. Um, but yeah, this is what we've got so far. I cannot wait to collect pollen because honestly, last time it was just such, it just didn't work out. So yeah, let's hope it works out this time. So this is my Anthurium crystallanium cutting and I got this ages ago and look at the roots. So I'm definitely going to be potting this up in soil. I think I might put in also my um, Raphthophoria cryptantha. I think I might put that into soil maybe. Or I think I might just leave it because it's in sphagnum and it's stuck on a board now. Um, yeah, maybe I might just leave it. But yeah, you'll find out next video if I leave it or I make the horrifying decision to transplant it into soil. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I am back up and running on posting videos every single week, at least once a week, hoping to do it twice again as usual. So yeah, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, make sure you check out my TikTok account which I will be posting there very soon. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, see you next time, bye!